Dearest products, I still remember the very first time I laid hands on you and realized we would be together forever. I wish there was some way I could express my gratitude for the joy you bring to my life. Ooh, that's I can't bear to share you, but it would be selfish of me to prevent you from experiencing what life could be like in the arms of another. I guess there's nothing left to be done besides make a favorites video or something. I hope it means as much to you as you mean to me. Love. I can't do anything right. It's Cassie and I had some coffee and today I'm going to talk about some products that made my life a lot better. I'm a very frugal spender. I'm always late to the party for everything but these are things that I was like alright I'm just gonna try it and I definitely did not regret it. So the first thing is the Apsara Neem Facial Cleanser and when I first tried it I was like okay this is probably just gonna be a run-of-the-mill cleanser. It's not very heavily scented. It's just very gentle and clear but it takes my makeup off perfectly and I noticed that during the hormonal part of the month this really made my acne a lot better than usual because I can't make my acne completely go away during the hormonal times of the month but this really keeps it at bay so I bought two more which is something I've never done with a cleanser before I never stockpile cleansers but I do with this one I don't really like guinea pigging with my skin so I feel like I'm gonna be on this for quite some time and an honorable mention goes to their lip salve it really really helps my chapped lips my lips are always chapped I drink a lot of water but they're chapped anyway and this really helps the only drawback is that the flavor of it kind of goes into your food or whatever you're drinking, so I recommend using it after you eat, but otherwise, it's a really good product. I'm really late to the game on this next one, but it is a beauty blender. It is worth every single cent, and I've used so many foundation brushes and stippling brushes, and I always was left with a really streaky face, and I just went back to my fingers, but this was seriously one of the best things I've ever incorporated into my routine. You just put it under the sink and then squeeze it out so it's a little bit damp, and that way the product doesn't go inside it, it just sits on top. You end up using Using way less product and you just bounce it on your face so you don't end up dragging your face with your fingers. Super sanitary because you wash it after every use and I'm just so obsessed with it because it actually makes your skin look so great. You can build on any red marks you may have and it just looks so natural so I'm super into this. I'm so glad I bought it. This is the one by 100% pure. I've heard good things about the original. This one does not expand when you get it wet. I really like how it's pointed on the top so you can just get your under eye area with it and I find that my under eye concealer creases a lot less if I apply it with this because you use a lot less product so it's great. Honk, honk. I was a little bit reluctant to buy these next items just because I didn't know if I would get a lot of use out of them but I went for it anyway because I found cheap ones at Brownie Melville but they're just these really cute Brawlets, and this one has really cute detailing and this one is caged in the back which is super cool and I thought I would only use this in like a low plunge back thing or like muscle shirts and stuff like that but I ended up wearing this just alone with high-waisted pants and it's thick enough that it works as a bra. I really like these, I like how cheap they were. Again, I got these from Brandy Melville and Brandy Melville only makes one size, which is interesting. So you can get these on Etsy or a variety of other stores because it's a pretty standard look, but I'm really glad I got these. And also from Victoria's Secret, I got a strapless lined bra. It's the lightest bra I've ever worn in my entire life. I'm wearing it today even though I don't need to wear a strapless bra today because it's that comfortable. It stays up, I never ever pull it up, which is super amazing. I used to wear a lot of push-up bras and yeah, I just like the modest laid-back toned down look lately and that's what these three bras give me. I've been getting a lot of compliments on my makeup lately and the reason why it doesn't look like a six-year-old did it anymore is because I invested in this one little brush and I don't buy a lot of makeup brushes. I only have maybe three. I know a lot of girls on here have like 400, but I only have three and this is one of them and it makes my looks so much less muddy and just amateur. It, I don't know why it makes such a big difference, it just does. When I bought it, the girl was like, this is one of the top 10 brushes in the world. And I was like, cool, let's try it out. And it is so worth it. I highly recommend the MAC 217 to anyone who wants to do makeup and not look like a cake face because I feel like I've looked like a cake face a lot in recent times, and that's because I didn't invest in a good brush. So this just perfectly blends everything into the crease, and it just spreads, I don't like, I'm really bad at explaining makeup, but it's just, it's good, I like it. Let's 
move on. I mentioned earlier in the video that I always have chapped lips. I don't know why, it's just a thing, I guess. Maybe it's just because my lips don't really like the weather out here. My skin gets a little bit dry when the seasons change, and I have this really nice friend who's kind of always staring at my lips, and whenever I catch her, she looks away. But for Christmas, she ever so kindly bought me this YSL lipstick. It's like half lipstick, half lip gloss. I'm wearing it today. And you guys know that I don't really buy, like, department store makeup, but I'm probably only gonna wear it on special occasions. It is so moisturizing, it makes my lips feel so good, and I've just never used a lipstick that makes my lips feel quite as good. Usually when I wear lipstick, I, it like kinda chaps a little bit and looks a little bit haggard by the end of the day, but this has some serious wear to it, so I highly recommend this YSL, what color is this? Rouge Bleu Shine. I don't think that's the color. Maybe it is rouge. Why is it French? Oh, yeah, YSL. <laughs> the next product is the Face Primer by 100% Pure, and I love primers. I love my makeup staying in place and not getting all cakey and weird and liney, but I can't wear primers because they have a lot of silicones and like weird things that make me break out in it. This is silicone free, but surprisingly, it has that thick consistency that a lot of primers have, and it just makes my foundation come on really nicely, look really dewy, stay all day, and it makes me look like I'm not a hot mess. And I'm really glad that I've been investing in makeup lately just because I haven't been in the past because I've been such a minimalist, but if you want to wear makeup, you might as well do it right. So I'm really glad that I invested in a luxury product like a primer. I hope this lasts me a long time because I like it, but I don't want to buy one of these like every few months, maybe. I mean, I'm so lazy. The next product is Rose Water, and I've used this for a variety of different things but didn't really see a difference, but I kept using it anyway because I really liked the smell, but I did find a practical use for it. I remember when I was in middle school and I was a little bit of a cake face, when I would sweat after gym class, all of my makeup would come together and just look so much more amazing and natural. And I've been using finishing sprays ever since because I like to keep that look going. And it's also just a little bit of a congratulations for being done your makeup for the day. So I'll finish my makeup and be like, Ch -ch -uh, done. And it smells so good, puts you in a good mood. And yeah, I'm probably gonna use this as a finishing spray for the rest of my life because a lot of other finishing sprays they made me break out. I break out a lot. That's what I do. It's what my skin likes. So that is all of my products. I hope you found this video helpful because all of these products are things that I really like. And I know that a lot of them aren't, I don't know. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of requests for this kind of a video, so I hope you like it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And I've been getting a lot of requests for a makeup tutorial and there's just so many like makeup goddesses on YouTube that make it look easy, whereas I would make it look kind of hard because I prefer doing my makeup like two centimeters away from the mirror. The only real difference from my makeup and everyone else's is the products. I use very different products from just the mass majority of makeup people on YouTube, but my tutorial skills aren't the best, but let me know if you are interested in seeing that anyway. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.